charity is not a money laundering operation for IRS 501c3 government agents with their government guidelines. I did a video a while back where I talked about how the Fraternal Order of Police Associates collected $1.9 million for so-called charity and $1.6 million of that was for what they called administrative fees. These are not charities at all. This is how certain people rob charity and rob the poor. And we see that there's a lot of these places that they call church that are hooked up with this sort of thing and the people that justify that and sell others under false government are ministers of Satan. I don't have any problem with the true government of God. I don't speak against that, but there's a false government that's been set up. I did another writing that is kind of specific to the area where I'm talking about one of these people that does this sort of thing and I'm gonna read that to you. I started distributing this yesterday. It says along the top here, Beware Jim Keck and Associates State Church Identity Theft. And there's a picture of the state capitol in Lincoln, Nebraska. There's Jim Keck's face that I fit in this picture here, this other image that I put on here, and I put false teacher right there. And this says underneath there, Jim Keck, Senior Minister, First Plymouth, Lincoln, Nebraska. So I'll go ahead and read this. Beware state church, false powers, and false ministers of God. For the ministers of God are the powers that be, according to Paul in Romans 13. We therefore do not claim a separation of church and state law. Romans 13 verses 1 to 6, let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power but of God. The powers that be are ordained of God. Whosoever therefore resisteth the power, resisteth the ordinance of God, and they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. For rulers are not a terror to good works, but to the evil. Wilt thou then not be afraid of the power? Do that which is good, and thou shalt have praise of the same. For he is the minister of God to thee for good. But if thou do that which is evil, be afraid, for he beareth not the sword in vain. For he is the minister of God, a revenger to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. Wherefore ye must needs be subject, not only for wrath, but also for conscience sake. For for this cause pay ye tribute also, for they are God's ministers, attending continually upon this very thing. So why have state church impostors been paid tribute for so long that is not due them? Hebrews 13, 7. Remember them which have the rule over you, who have spoken unto you the word of God, whose faith follow, considering the end of their conversation. Does Nebraska's so-called Governor Heineman speak the word of God to you as a ruler? like rulers do in Hebrews? Or is he a false power that be, false minister of God, who justifies a separation of powers and ministers? This isn't rocket science, people. It's very simple. Hebrews 13, 17, Obey them that have the rule over you, and submit yourselves, for they watch for your souls, as they that must give account, that they may do it with joy and not with grief, for that is unprofitable for you. And how does Heinemann watch out for your souls? With a separation of church and state law for him and his. Did Jim Keck 
warn any of you about this counterfeit government that rapes taxpayer wallets for personal comfort? You see, when Satan's ministers sell their victims under the rule of the elected officials of voters, they deny to them the real powers that be which are ordained of God. I'm talking about the elect of God, less elect ed, by sucker voters. And by the way, there would be no elections of these false powers without a census department. Know what I mean? It's just that they can't count votes for bullcrap elections without having an idea of how many people there are that could vote. So consider who justifies the census. First Chronicles 21.1, And Satan stood up against Israel and provoked David to number Israel. First Chronicles 21.7, And God was displeased with this thing, therefore he smote Israel. So David and Satan justify the numbering. Now let's see who justifies reprobates to their false body of Christ, harlot church. The following words in quotes are of Dr. Jim Keck, Senior Minister, First Plymouth. Quote, we are diverse. Diverse means we celebrate the differences among us such as sexual orientation ethnicity, class, mental abilities, physical capabilities, personalities, and backgrounds. Diverse means that we trust that these differences inform and strengthen community. A diverse spiritual community welcomes conventional believers, curious agnostics, and questioning skeptics. And finally, diverse means you are free to seek your own guiding principles in our midst. End of quote. Well, isn't that special? Jim celebrates differences in sexual orientation. Now let's see what Paul has to say about what Jim celebrates. Romans 1, 26 to 28. For this cause God gave them up unto vile affections, for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise also the men leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one toward another, men with men, working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was meet. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. See what I'm saying? Paul, which Jim doesn't agree with, lets us know that these people are given over to a reprobate mind, damning themselves. Jim is corrupt, double-minded, and a false minister of God. So I say, don't be a victim of, Jim, of Jim's identity theft. He's a minister of Satan and not God. 2 Corinthians 11, 14 to 15. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. And then I signed it, St. Michael, ordained of God. And I put next to that, www.iwarwiththebeast.blogspot.com. Thank you.